Hi, this is Gali Gofarb and thank you very much for joining me here today. Today I'm going to be talking about how to deal with adrenal fatigue through diet and supplement recommendations. The adrenal glands are part of the endocrine system which regulates body functions. The adrenal glands produce hormones that are critical for health, including stress hormones and like adrenaline and cortisol, and hormones that regulate our stress hormones. Stress from physical or emotional pressures will trigger the adrenal glands to release adrenaline and cortisol as part of our survival mechanism. But some stressors, especially some emotional ones, do not stay for only a short period and can become chronic. These stressors, like a divorce, the death of a loved one, or financial turmoil, may lead to overworked adrenal glands, leading them to either release insufficient amounts of hormones at certain times or release too many hormones at other times to make up for the previous lack. Now, the overworking of the adrenal glands and their erratic behavior will lead over time to what is known as adrenal fatigue. The, the adrenals, when they're not functioning properly, will also affect many other organs and organ function, especially the heart, the nervous system, the liver, and the pancreas. Till this day, the medical community is still not grasping the problem behind adrenal fatigue, and many suggest that there is not enough proof which shows that adrenal fatigue is even real. However, whatever the causes are, this is a challenging condition to cope with, and the symptoms associated with adrenal fatigue are certainly definitely real for those who suffer from the condition. The common symptoms associated with adrenal fatigue are total body weakness, nervousness, body aches all over, digestive issues, even weight loss, and chronic fatigue symptoms, as well as low blood pressure. So what can we do? Well, like many health issues, adrenal fatigue can be dealt with by using a specific dietary plan with the addition of certain supplements. However, the most straightforward advice is, of course, to try and avoid extended stress levels and to ensure that you are caring for your body's needs. And to do this, you want to make sure that you are sleeping sufficiently, you're going to bed earlier that instead of wasting your time on social media. Uh, you want to also avoid drinking too much coffee or other stimulating beverages, especially later throughout the day. You also want to focus on eating sufficient foods that supply a wealth of nutrients for your body. Now let's go into my adrenal fatigue diet and uh, supplement recommendations. Well, firstly, even if adrenal fatigue is or isn't real, the diet and supplementation connected with it certainly can be of help in alleviating these symptoms. An adrenal friendly diet should consist of foods that will help regulate your blood sugar levels and supply a wealth of nutrients as well. You will want to eliminate or at least limit your intake of foods and drinks with processed sugars and unhealthy fats. You want to ensure that you have sufficient balanced meals every day throughout the day with some healthy snacks in between and the best timing between these meals is in the case of adrenal fatigue is one and a half to two and a half hours maximum between meals. The adrenals have more difficulty coping with two or three heavy meals a day as blood sugar levels tend to drop uh, between these heavy, heavy meals. And then the adrenals will need to release cortisol to keep you functioning throughout the day uh, and keep you from falling asleep. Now to help the adrenals heal, they will need less pressure on them and this means that meals need to be regular throughout the day so that there is no need to release cortisol when blood sugar levels become too low. Now having the right balance of all essential nutrients is also vital and critical for proper adrenal function. Therefore, consuming more vegetables and fruits is very important for healing. My recommendation is to consume smaller but nutritious meals throughout the day. Eat a few nuts and dried fruits, eat a soya or coconut yogurt, eat some uh, whole fruits or a whole grain sandwich with some tomatoes and kale, uh, eat a portion of rice and lentils or a legume soup or some hummus with, um, with some vegetables. All of these suggestions are very, very dense in nutrients and they're also pretty small meals that can be taken throughout the day and you can easily take them with you as well. 
make sure to regularly include in your diet foods that are rich in nutrients, enzymes, and antioxidants that reduce inflammation and also help reduce stress. These foods include berries, garlic, green leafy vegetables, and all sprouted foods. The foods you want to avoid are foods that put a strain on the adrenal glands, including high fat, high protein meat and dairy products, as well as high sugar products, including refined carbohydrates and simple sugars. These products lead to fat molecules to infiltrate the muscle tissue and the liver, calling, causing insulin resistance. And this leads to problems with regulating blood sugar levels, which present immense stress on your adrenal glands. Healthy whole food carbohydrates actually reduce the pressure from the adrenals since they help maintain blood sugar levels over the period of time, a longer period of time. A healthy adrenal friendly diet also necessitates proper hydration. You will want to make sure that you are drinking enough throughout the day since dehydration definitely influences stress levels. When it comes to supplements, I recommend doing a simple blood test that examines your vitamin and mineral levels. Some vitamin and mineral deficiencies can worsen adrenal fatigue, and if you find that you do suffer from a certain nutrient deficiency, then you will definitely want to supplement it or ensure that your diet will include more foods that are rich in any deficient nutrients. There are also supplements that help the body cope better with stress, and these include Siberian and Panax ginseng, vitamin B complex, very much recommended, host a rose hip, astragalus, radiola, magnesium, spirulina, and omega-3 fatty acids uh, from uh, plant-based sources. Now, if you suffer from adrenal fatigue and change your diet accordingly to a, an adrenal-friendly menu that provides nutrient-dense foods and less processed foods, and supplement your diet to both prevent nutrient deficiencies and support your body during the stressful periods, then your body will heal itself and you will see major, major improvement in about one to six months. So I hope you found this video very informing. Thank you very much. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and press the notifications button um, to have notifications whenever I upload a video, which is about once a week. Um, with all this, a lot of free content. Also visit my website, www.thegorilladiet.com for lots of free health and uh, information and many, many programs that you may want to join to help you lose weight and become healthy. Thank you very much.